In the first uh, three sessions, we talked mainly about uh, what had occurred down south, so I thought maybe we would take a chance or an opportunity here to talk about uh, what occurred in the northern uh, portion of our AO, starting with Sangin. We knew coming in in uh, March of 2011 that uh, the enemy was going to try and take Sangin back. We knew we had, we had had a tough fight. Uh, the Marines had had a tough fight with 3-7 uh, and 3-5 in 2010, and we expected the enemy to try and come back and take uh, Sangin uh, with a vengeance in the spring and summer of 2011. So because of the tough fighting that occurred, we had uh, really gained some support from the uh, district governor and the district uh, chief of police. However, the, the people, the population, were really still uh, indifferent. They had been under Taliban control for so long that they really weren't quite ready to uh, commit to support either the Marines or the government, and they were suspect, uh, or suspect, quite frankly, of everybody uh, to include the Afghan government. Because we had uh, forces committed in, in to the south of uh, Sangin in what we call the Upper Goreshk Valley, we really didn't have forces to commit any farther north. So we were really in a position where we were uh, going to try and hold the gains that we had there in uh, Sangin. We were going to try and make uh, small gains here and there, but really the focus was hold in the spring and summer. And as we did that, we were able to increase capacity in the governance uh, side. We were able to stand up an interim district uh, community council and get uh, some governance, elements of governance uh, moving in the right direction. We were able to start some uh, development project. And through this, uh, we were able to uh, gain some support from the population. But most importantly, we were able to prevent the enemy from making any uh, gains back into Sangin. To expand security, we took our recon battalion and we consolidated those forces north in the upper Sangin Valley. And instead of doing typical reconnaissance mission and uh, disruption up there in the upper Sangin Valley, we focused them on population-centric uh, coin. We wanted to push the population, if you will, from neutral and negative to neutral to positive. And the uh, 3rd Reconnaissance came, Battalion came in there. They operated out of what we called the uh, patrol base Alcatraz, and they did a great job of gaining the uh, support of the people. We also, at this point, uh, late in the summer, were able to insert some uh, special operations forces, both Marines, Army, and uh, Navy special operations forces to begin executing the Afghan local police uh, program. We inserted three sites uh, up there to re start to recruit the uh, locals to begin to provide for their own security. We did this because the provincial government, the uh, district government, the district uh, chief of police all said that one of the uh, necessary elements for security up in the Upper Sangin Valley was uh, was local police and really they were looking for a local solution. So we began these efforts establishing the uh, local police and quite frankly here we are in uh, February of 2012 and we're seeing the fruits of our investment uh, up there now. We're close to a hundred uh, local police and we're gaining a lot of traction and a lot of support from the local uh, villages. So we're holding uh, Sangin uh, now we established the uh, VSO sites and then to the west in uh, Musa Kala and Nauzad we're trying to simultaneously expand uh, security. Uh, the engineers from the, uh, the uh, logistics group improved about 80 kilometers of road between Nauzad, Musa Kala and Goresh. It allowed us to open up the economic corridor this is what the people were uh, looking for, and this allowed them to move goods between uh, the big bazaars, the economic hub in uh, Goreshk and Musakala and uh, Nauzad. And we saw the uh, bazaars expand dramatically in both uh, Musakala and Nauzad over the period of about uh, 
90 to 120 days, we saw prices drop, we saw people return, and all of a sudden the people uh, saw a reason, if you will, to side with the government. They saw an opportunity. And then on the security side, in Nowzad, we held and we built and we expanded the responsibility of the ANSF. Uh, we continued to uh, expand security north and uh, northeast out of uh, Musakala, and we maintain pressure uh, on what some called the heart of the insurgency in Kajaki and uh, Zamindavar. And our forces were developing uh, greater capacity in both the Afghan National Army, the Afghan Uniformed Police, and as we began to thicken with the uh, local police program, the uh, National Security Force capabilities increased and so did the government capacity up in Nauzad, Musakala, and Sangin.